Hi guys, thanks for watching this video again. <clears throat> uh, as most of you know, that uh, we have a mass democratic civil movement that uh, we have been promoting and uh, working on many, using it to work on many community projects since 2020. And that culminated uh, into a lot of very interesting projects that you did with the community, ranging from health projects, uh, legal projects, business projects, and so forth. And then uh, we ended up having this beautiful platform called uh, MTCM Labs. This is where basically we have a lot of uh, discussions around uh, certain things that need ideas, and then uh, we publish our ideas. We publish our uh, research findings, if there's anything interesting that we think maybe the public should know. And this is a great platform because this is the same platform that uh, we'll be using to engage directly with the public. And uh, also we'll use the same platform to interview candidates uh, that will be going to parliament, candidates that will be actually going to represent the people at the national and provincial level in the next coming 2020, 2024. Uh, general elections. So I just thought that maybe let me give you an update because there's quite a lot of things that have happened uh, over the past couple of days, uh, two weeks at the office with the panel of experts that I work with. Uh, I hope that uh, at some point, uh, not uh, <clears throat> in a distant future, you will have a privilege or <clears throat> uh, to see the panel of experts that I work with. Uh, but for now, I'm just doing all the announcements myself. But uh, very soon, you will be you'll, you'll be able to see all the people that I work from the office. What I'm announcing today is that uh, after all the deliberations at the office with the panel of experts, we arrived at a conclusion that mass democratic civil movement should just remain as a civil movement. It should just remain as a mass based organization or a civil movement that will keep, continue to look at the problems that affect the people directly. Uh, as you know that the mass democratic civil movement has been involved in a wide range of uh, projects, uh, political education, economical education, education around social, social life issues, uh, health and, uh, and legal matters and so forth. <clears throat> like I've already said and in many other videos that uh, you, you can access if you can just go to uh, Mass TCM on YouTube. There are quite a lot of videos that uh, I've done over past uh, months. So what I'm informing you guys, I'm informing you that the uh, Mass Democratic Civil Movement is going to remain as a mass-based uh, organization and continue with its work. But what we have then done, we have registered a structure that is going to be a political party. In fact, it's called Active Business and Civil Society Party. That is the one that uh, is going to be a structure that will take the people who will be representing the people or the communities uh, at a national and provincial level. Now, this structure is very unique. There's not even one political party that can come even near uh, our structure, how it actually operates. It's unique in the sense that, uh, one, it is the only structure so far <clears throat> that um, came out clearly or it's coming out clearly and saying something that nobody else has ever said. To say, we are going to make sure that we bring business to the people and we bring the people to business. We unite business and the people. Over many, many years, <clears throat> we have had a lot of rhetoric people talking about business and as if business is the worst devil ever. And they're talking about the uh, business as if business is separate from the people. Some of us who know what business is all about, we know that the people cannot survive a day without business. The only difference is that uh, if you don't, or maybe the only problem is that 
Of course, if you don't regulate business properly, and then you'll end up with problems. But business is good for the people, and the people are good for business. So this is the first party to be clear on this one. Many people uh, who have seen uh, over years, you know, decades or centuries that they have always been dilatelling, beating about the bush, not wanting to say it straight whether they hate or they love business. Us who are very clear, business is key. Without business, we are nowhere to be found. So this is the first party, guys, that is making it clear. So there's no doubt about anything. So if you sleep, you sleep well knowing that if you want to be part of the structure, you'll be joining a structure that is pro-business and that is pro the, the civil society and the structure that is going to unite the civil society and business and ensure that there is always the constant interaction between the civil society and business. We want business to invest in the townships and rural areas. We want the business to invest in education. We want that strong relationship, that bond. The government will look at what the government is supposed to look at. And they will be detailing those things at a later stage. But for now, I just wanted to make sure that you understand what this uh, party is all about. The second thing that uh, sets us apart from the rest is that right from the beginning, you don't even have to wait for, for parliament. Right from the beginning, the people themselves are going to choose the people who are going to represent them at the national and provincial level. What do I mean by that? Naturally, um, all the parties, they will always go and campaign, get some seats, and then once they go to parliament, and then you see a list of people that uh, have been actually put in certain positions. And then you, most of the time, then the, the members of the community or the civil society will just see a list of names, some of the names that they don't even know. This is the only party that is very clear, and it says, Anybody who is going to stand under the umbrella of active business and civil society, that party would be coming from the community, that, that person would be coming directly from the community. It means that person would have been nominated by the community to represent them at the national and provincial level. So we are actually starting immediately to start inviting people to start sending the name, say name, uh, their details, of course, their name, say name. Uh, ID number, and then there will be forms that we'll be sending to people. But what people can do, at least they can send us um, their contact numbers. At least the cell number is enough. Name, say name, and the cell number is enough so that at least we can be able to send you uh, a form. It will be an electronic form that you will just feel is very quick. You just a name, say name, ID number, and then you sign their contact number, email, and then you sign the form, period. That's all we need. And then from there, we'll invite you for an interview, which is very exciting because the interviews, all of them, will be public, public interviews. Everybody will see and hear a person speaking for himself uh, in front of a panel of experts that will be asking that particular person, how is he going to be of help uh, to, this, to the civil society? So that's the first part, and that is the most exciting part, that for the first time, there's a party that is going to say every person who is going to stand under the umbrella of that party, whether that person is going to be a minister, whatever position is going to take in, 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 the, in the public office, that person must come, must have been nominated by the people themselves from various provinces, and they are going to guide the people how to do that. And uh, of course, they will be sending names, and then we'll be interviewing those people, and then we'll be shortlisting and then we'll let the people know who are the people that uh, have been recommended that they should actually go to parliament, whether they are going to uh, uh, provincial legislators, legislatures or national legislatures and so forth. And I hope that is very, very clear. And it's very easy to do. You don't have to be a rocket scientist, it's easy. It's not that it has never been done, uh, but the fact that it has never been done does not mean it cannot be done. The people themselves will also indicate who is the person who should be a president. Should they be successful in getting all the names to win the majority of seats? As soon as we get the majority of seats, then we'll be knowing what the, what the people have said. And remember what we'll do. 
as soon as we have gathered all the information from the people, what the people want, their wishes and so forth have been documented. We're going to reduce all those to the people's contract and it will be publicized. So by the time we win the seats, if the people have worked hard with us to win the, the majority of the seats and then we can actually announce the ministers and then, uh, I mean, uh, announce the, 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 the people who, are, who will be in parliament and, of course, will follow the parliamentary processes, but will be looking at what the people have said. So, for instance, the majority, our majority will, will elect the president. But that president will be elected in line with the wishes of the people because everybody will be knowing what the people have said what the people have sent us to do then. And the president himself will have to appoint the ministers according to the list that was given by the people because the people would have spoken. All that will be doing people in parliament will be rubber stamping. The majority in parliament will be rubber stamping what the people have said. Of course, if there are challenges because of the, uh, the, 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 the nature of uh, uh, the elections, uh, maybe not enough seats were won to be able to make certain decisions, of course, will navigate uh, uh, um, that situation when, when we reach it. But that is the basic principle. So basically, at least you have an idea what kind of a structure that you'll be getting yourself involved with if you do happen to be involved with the structure. We, we, we also encourage that uh, those people who want to uh, stand as um, uh, independents, we encourage them to familiarize themselves with our structure to conduct us because it's more powerful to be under active business and civil society than to go your way as an independent. Because for, for us, there's not much difference if you go as an independent or you go under the umbrella of the structure because the principles will basically be the same, except for just minor differences there and there. So now you would ask, when is that starting? As I am talking to you, we have started. The only thing now is just a question of uh, completing the process, but we have started. That is why I'm making uh, this uh, announcement. Uh, mass democratic civil movement is still a civil movement. Those, for instance, who still want to interact at, this, at the level of a mass democratic civil movement who want to us to assist with problems that does not stop, that will continue. The democracy that people always talk about, in this case, we shelf democracy. What we are going to do, we listen to the wishes and the, you know, the, 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 the direction, we take the, the instructions directly from the people. We don't need a vote. We don't need votes. You know, in a democratic situation, you'll always have these people who are voting and this deliberating on that. No, it is enough when you know what the people want. And if the people have spoken, the people have told you what is it that they want, and all you do, you just uh, reduce it to a document, just like the, it was done uh, many years ago. You always hear about Freedom Charter. I, I, I don't care about it now because. What is more important for me now is what the people want to say now, not in 1955. I want to know what the people want now. That's what we want. And then once we have all those things and they've put together in a document, then that forms the people's contract. And that is the best democracy you can ever give people. And then you go on to execute it. And the good thing about this kind of a system or this structure is that anybody who misbehaves, the people will have the meeting and recall you because they are the ones actually who put you in the first place. So it's very easy to hire and fire. You don't need a, a parliamentary majority to fire you. The people themselves can just say to the panel of experts, to the office of uh, active business and civil society, this name must be recalled. Just like uh, in, in sports, if you play soccer, there are better players who are sitting in the bench. Why must we have a, 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 bad, a bad performing player uh, playing uh, uh, the full game? No. As soon as we realize that, no, the people realize, no, this guy is not fit enough. 
in consultation with the, I mean, it's not good enough, in consultation with the, 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 the office, with the panel of experts, will be recalled because actually you would have signed the contract. So it will be very easy because the contract will spend it out that you will be recalled if this and this does not happen. So we don't have to, to struggle to remove you. So I think that actually makes it very, very interesting. Uh, give me maybe, say, a, a week or so. We'll then now, of course, after 20 days, we're going to announce. Uh, in fact, uh, we're going to send the forms, the electronic forms. I'm going to announce that the electronic forms are out. I'm going to show the samples um, on the screen, how it looks like. And then I'm gonna we'll send the electronic card. Those who want to a uh, physical form is, is fine. We can always send them. But guys, uh, those uh, who have got some money to donate, we have started our fundraising. You can actually donate to both organizations. We have started uh, preparing the documents. We have opened the bank account for active business and civil society. But those who want to donate to mass democratic civil movement, please do so. Uh, we need your money because we want to assist the people in the communities and that those for instance uh, who would love to donate to the party we will uh, be providing the banking details as well and and and, and you can also uh, put some money there to assist us to do the, the good work for you lastly but not least i just want to tell you something uh, some of us are not interested uh, in going to the national government or provincial governments who are not interested in that want to work with the people on the ground. Uh, the whole idea is to identify the best people who are fit for purpose for you, for, this, for the community, for South Africa. People who are going to take this country to the next level. People who are going to make us able to compete with the United States and China. We cannot be underdogs uh, like this forever. We have been underdogs for a very long time, for the past 30 years. South Africa was respected in the world, but today we're nothing. So we will put uh, this country on the global map. Uh, we'll identify the right people. So you just all you have to do is just to assist us, work with us to identify the right people who are going to represent you at a national and provincial level. And I think, uh, to be honest with you guys, this is something that you need to start debating, talking about. And if there's anybody who has got a question, please don't hesitate. You can WhatsApp me as well. I don't mind. I just don't like calls because I'm a very busy person. I'm always in meetings. But uh, you can also, on my personal number, you can actually WhatsApp 081-321-1534. I don't mind if you can do that. It's, uh, few people give their personal numbers. I give it. But please don't forget to donate to Mass Democratic Civil Movement. And uh, those, for instance, uh, who want uh, to know more, you can just uh, click there and there's a, um, a number uh, that uh, is uh, on, down on the screen and then you, 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 you'll get more information and be able to assist us with whatever we need. Thank you very much and thanks for watching this video till we 